Check a pro Joe here on Check a Pro Radio. Adam Greer is joining me from the Wise Attic. Hello, Adam. How are you? I'm uh, very good. And you? Hey, I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking. Um, this question comes up a lot, and I'm not sure what the answer is. So I thought I'd ask you. It has to do with attic insulation. How many inches do we need in our attic? And does it vary by time of year? In the winter, do I need less? In the summer, do I need more? How does that work? That, that's a really good question. It is the, the most popular question I'm sure that we get asked. Uh, it goes back to what is the target? What what our value are you trying to achieve? And then there's a certain amount of inches required to achieve that. And you can't get around that. that it's just that simple. You want an R38? You got to get 17 inches up there. You know, if you want an R20, you know, the lower you go, the less inches you need. But it, what is your target? And so uh, that's a question we can't answer just right now. We can't say, oh, this is, this is it. It's the answer because it's impossible. Every situation requires, you know, a different uh, solution. So what is the most amount in terms of depth inches of insulation I can go with where it still makes sense before it starts losing its return. There's got to be a a depth where, like, if I put right. eight feet up there, some of that has to be worthless. Right, right. And and we have people try to I'll put four feet up there, you know, and they just want to stop. The building code for Houston, which is where we're from, is an R30. Mm -hmm. um, energy department recommends an R38. The energy department recommends that as the standard they, if they needed more they would they would recommend more but that's the primo spot get that r38 and your house is efficient anything more of that really is just a waste of money it, it's not going to bring that same return because it's you've maxed it out and now you're just blowing a bunch of stuff up there and blowing your money yeah and it's good to know that you know what that is because the homeowner doesn't know right they're like I think I have an issue with my insulation. And like I said, you can go up in the attic and take a quick look and get an idea of if there's a real problem, because if there's not yeah. much insulation or none, you know, there's a problem. Uh, however, if there were four feet of insulation up there and they thought they had an insulation problem, there's another issue. But, there's uh, another issue. Yeah. And that could be a ventilation issue. That's for another topic. So. Um, there is a point where it doesn't make sense to spend more money on more insulation. It's just not going to make a difference. R38, pretty much the max. Is there an R40, an R42, an R48? Do, do these numbers exist? For a huge scenario, no. But you get up north, you know, that's the climate definitely dictates that. Energy department recommends more, obviously, in the north. You know, if you're in a heavy snow belt, you mm -hmm. got to get some up there, uh, and that's going to get you up into the 40s for sure. You know, high 40s. So our climate, though, it's it's R38. Yeah, and of course, up north, the heat in the house uh, rises and is going up into the attic. We would want that R value keeping the heat down. Um, it's different in Houston because the air that we're blowing into our house in the summertime is moving away from the attic. Um, because it, it falls, it's cool air. And so that might be one of the reasons, but, uh, right. certainly oof, we need insulation in our attics. And if you need some, or just need attic to have Adam come out and take a look at your attic, no problem. He'll come out and all of his information is located in the description of this podcast. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it, buddy. You're welcome. It's always a good time.